We're looking at uh, some results of the Screaming Frog scan on a website. That is a directory site. So I'm using the tool to look at just the HTML pages. And I don't know how many we'll have, but let's take a look. 3,226 HTML pages. I'm going to take one of these at random. Let's go with Spokane. Okay. This is a directory for real estate. So one of my real estate clients asked me about this site. Let's look at this URL. So here we've got a URL with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 links. 60, 70, somewhere around there. Every underlying thing is about a link. A bunch of links on this one page that is in Washington, Spokane. And there's, this is a site that covers not just the United States, but the whole world. So we have thousands and thousands of links throughout this website. Now, the reason I bring this up is because the question is, is a link on this site of value? Well, pluses and minuses. Um, pluses is that it's relevant to real estate. Just about everything else is a minus. For example, Google does not like link farms. They consider most directories, except for perhaps a very few very high authority directories, to be link farms. Because look at it, it's a bunch of links. So when you have a link like this on a page like this is buried down like this among thousands of other links and you've got a, you can be sure that um, page rank is a very active part of the Google formula for ranking. They just don't want anybody leveraging it in any way that they can prevent. So they don't publish it any longer. Internally, the math formula is still a big part of the algorithm. And the basic formula, it's very complex, but the basic outcome of the formula is that the more links you have, the more page rank is divided between those links on a page and on a website. If you've got a top-level page, you're linking to a bunch of sub-pages, then your page rank is divided between all those sub-pages, and then all the links on those sub-pages is divided between those. So by the time you get to thousands of links, we got a trust flow of 20 here. We got a DA of something around. Um, let's see, lately the toolbar has not been working, so we'll just get a uh, DA checker and we'll plug that into there and have a look. And DA is relatively close to what page rank is divided by 10. So we'll pop that in. and get our DA result, which is published by Moz. It's an external look at uh, what a domain authority is. So we've got a DA of 43. So we might have a page rank of around three. Okay. Um, so it's fairly high, fair. Um, but domain authority can be gamed by a lot of things linking in. The problem is just, it isn't just page rank published or not that Google uses. Uh, they use a lot of factors and one of the factors is the whole panda scoring algorithm to decide whether or not to apply what's called a modification factor in the panda patent extract. Modification factor is based on quality scores and this is Every page is full of links to other pages and links back to websites. So it is essentially all links. Now Google is algorithmically able to tell that this is a lot of links in this website. That's all it is, links. So you can imagine that even the simplest scoring algorithm is gonna just score this way down. You'll probably get not just a first level modification factor, but a second level modification factor, somewhere between the two. 
Now the Panda patent is aging, published in uh, 2014 with the U.S. Patent Office and published by Google on their website in 2014. So 2012, I meant. 2012 was when it went into uh, the Patent Office 2014 when they published it. Now it's 2016 and we have Rank Brain. So essentially the philosophy is the same. Though. Google is looking at the quality of websites that links are coming from and going, yeah, that's not great. We won't count it for much. Now, you got thousands and thousands to divide that page rank of three by thousands of links. Okay, We aim to get our links from pages where there's a good page authority, good domain authority, and a few links on a page. Editorial, for example. That's a better quality link. Um, when you go to get a link here, this site would like to have some money. Okay, annual flat fee. I can assure you this is a tiebreaker if there are any ever consideration of this being worthwhile. First of all, it may hurt you, depending on domain authority and the way Google sees its domain authority and its score. And this this site so far everything I have seen gives it a very bad score for quality and so it will at best do virtually nothing the only way you can get closer to nothing is to have nothing this is a little something maybe but it's so close to nothing that they're best friends so I would not in, under any circumstances pay for a link on this site ever all right so I hope that helps um, Get your links from better places and keep the countdown, especially of links like this. You don't want a lot of links like this. The more links you get like this, the more Google classifies you as spam because sites like this are considered pretty much spam. They keep scoring and you get those bad scores and they aggregate and pretty soon Google associates you with this kind of quality. You don't want that to happen. All right, Dave Key signing off.